Back to our scheduled programming, right, son? <laughs> this is Muhammad's sisters. He's gonna be a champion basketball player, inshallah. It's one of my do us for this Ramadan. Make it yours, sister. We'll share the benefits of everything. How? We'll, we'll buy people groceries and stuff. Buy them groceries, back to pay their bill. I mean, that's the, that's, that's like the, um, <laughs> that's like something that you do for someone who like, if you pay anyone's bill. redo it without my Oh, it shows? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I don't want the computer to be in it. Sisters, Muhammad is going to be, inshallah, a basketball player. We have big hopes and dreams. Can I get a haircut, please? Yeah. If not, he's going to be a doctor. I got 10 more minutes, but I literally just made this right now. Some coffee. What is and I'm going to take a bite of this. But this is too big. Can I have some? Yeah. This is too big. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm not going to drink all this. And then I got some water next to me. So I don't get yeah, got super sun next thirsty. So I can eat it all. Hey, sister. So I am walking to Muhammad's school because I need to pay for his like graduation cap and gown for like 25 bucks. And like a Great Wolf Lodge field trip. So his graduation is in May. My little baby's gonna go to high school. Like that is insane. But I have to sign him up for this program where he'll be getting his AA as he also graduates from high school. So I need to get that information. Um, but yeah, so I am on my way right now with Muhammad to school. Yusuf literally just woke up and I'm not waiting for him. So He's coming. He's I need to make it back by the time that baby Hafsa wakes up. My mother-in-law and husband are there, but she be just crying the most. Sisters, okay, so I am walking home right now from um, trying to figure out how much I had to pay. So they only take cash or like a money order. So yeah. I'm not I'm opting out of the dance and the dinner <coughs> after graduation for Muhammad but he is allowed to go to the event that they have which is the Great Wolf Lodge. I don't really see um I don't see it being like a scene for, you know, a Muslim kid um to go to the dance and dinner. So and he's just like mm. I don't even want to go anyway, so <laughs> so he's not going to go to that, but he's doing the trip, and he's going to be doing, um, yeah, the graduation, so everything is going to be 114, inshallah, so today I'm off, I took two days off of six, so, um, although I am feeling so much better, um, but... What I'm gonna do in the morning right now is actually, once baby Hafsa gets up, brush her teeth, get her dressed, give her breakfast, and then we're gonna go to the library. I wanna sign up to get a library card and go to the um, library, cause I did that with the boys all the time. But I wanna do it with baby Hafsa, where I can get her some library books so she can read and then return them and then get more. Uh, one more thing I need to do is change my tire. So that's something I might do right right now. So by the time she wakes up, um, I can put a spare tire on the car because my 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 tire is like completely flat. But I'm gonna take care of that right now. So yeah, you guys can join me if you like. 
Um, another thing I need to do is get some clothes, shoes, and a shirt for Muhammad. But I want him to like it, obviously. So we'll see right now. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we got the spare tire right here. And we got this right here. So the first thing you want to do is actually put this under the car. But, so let me go get my tripod, hold on. Step one is obviously to remove these. So we're gonna remove them first. I'm trying to figure out what side it goes off. So if you unscrew them, it'll be left, I think. Hold on. Let me double check with the video. Okay, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make them loose, basically. Because you don't want to do that, as per the person is saying. Because once you put the jack, you won't be... And if you're trying to unscrew them at a really, you know really rough way you might make your car fall out so we're doing this first okay making them loose there we go should work just fine Okay, now we've added the thing at the bottom. And now I am going to twist, twist. We want to get it just enough that the tire is lifted. So not too much, but not too low. You know what I'm saying on tumble sisters? Okay. Alrighty, whitey. Okay. Okay. Quick recap right now. <laughs> so one of these was really hard to get off. So I had to bring bring the car back down. So now, yeah. So it was making a really loud screeching noise. This might need some oil. This is really hot. So yeah i'm looking at it i'm looking at it right now it's super dusty and rusty i don't know if you could see it right here see it's super rusty so it was making like a crazy sound so now that i brought it back down i have to bring it back up again yeah i'm gonna bring it back up and then finish removing the screws so okay Back. So we're just lifting it, lifting it. Because the spare tire is pretty tiny. I'm going to take it to a tire shop right now or maybe later today. But I just want to go ahead and get the spare on there. So now that from the video that I watched, it said if I have a hard time unscrewing them, while this is lifted, the car can fall. 
and that can break something. So we are lifting this. I had to wrap my hijab in a turban because I am super hot. So we're gonna lift it a little bit more, enough so, so the tire can fit. Okay, more, 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 more. Do, 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 do. This is how we do it. If you don't know how to change a spare tire, girl, you better look it up. It'll save you some money. Unless you got AAA and you're lazy. Not lazy, or you just don't want to do it. <laughs> then okay. Okay. We're lifting. We're lifting. We're lifting. Still has a long way to lift. So basically, I was doing this and then like removing it. So what you do basically with this one, you go like this. Then you fold it back to the other side. And then you twist, and then you fold it back to the other side, and then you twist, and then you go like that, and then you go. Most of this stuff is already in the back of your car anyway, so. Okay. I want to say this should be enough. Okay, I feel like that should be enough. Okay. Back to the tire. Oh, tire. Back to unscrewing. Okay. So these are pretty loose already. I won't have trouble with... Yeah, this is super rusty. I'm gonna tell them. Okay. Nope, that's tightening it. We're unscrewing it. There we go. like that for a while. Look at this crap. Let's put the spare now. We are about to go to the library really quick, but I forgot to show you the tire. Let me show you what it looks like. My phone ended up dying after um, my phone ended up dying after that, so let me show you how, what it looks like. Okay, I was on. Okay, this is what it looks like compared to the other tires, which are, are these. But we're about to go to the library really quick, and then we're going to go to Winko's, and then we're going to go to Goodwill. So, yeah. I gotta show you what she's trying to take out of the car. Her yeah, little yeah. balls and her squishy and that plate. And I'm trying to tell her to leave it in the car and she doesn't want to. Yeah. So this is the first thing when you come into the library. They have a whole little section here for Ramadan. It's really cute. Okay, so we made it to the library and I got Baby Hafsa her first library card. So. This is the kids section. We're about to get a couple of books that are not like, you know, that she is not able to destroy and stuff like that. So we're going to pick some out. We have arrived to the Goodwill. And this reminds me, my mom used to buy all my toys here when I was little. So we went to Goodwill. I got her this little house. And then I got her this little thing for like $2. It looked brand new. We got a dish. 
Look at you. We got two, this two. dish. We got that one. We got a big white one. That one right there. <laughs> so yeah, now we're about to go to Winkos and then we're gonna go home. I'm just taking a video, so just in case this rings up a different price, but wow, these are so cheap. Okay, we are at Winko getting what we need. And I just went back for the last things, but this is everything over here. And oh yeah, I need to get I need a bread for my husband really quick, so I'm gonna go get that right now. So we're gonna see how much it's gonna cost us for gas right now. Can you guys see my glasses? Okay, it's gonna be I'm I'm guessing $85. We'll see how much it's gonna end up being. So it ended up only being $71. So yeah, wrong guess. No receipt. Thank you. Okay, we're headed home now. It's one o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top. Oh, look at the clouds. They're beautiful and let's... Okay, let me focus now. So we are back from the library. My nose is itchy. The library, Goodwill, and Winkos. And these are the glasses that I was wearing. Everyone kept saying they're really cute. Well, not everyone, but two people. So, I'm gonna take out the groceries. Oh. So, Winkos is like the best place for us to go. Everything was $90, but everything was literally cut in half like this literally would have been 200 dollars somewhere else the pasta was like a dollar the texas toast that i got was two dollars um there's only a couple of things that were like a decent like a little bit higher like this was four dollars but this and like the whipping cream were like four bucks everything else was like less than three dollars even the salad was two dollars i'm gonna show you guys the books that i got i'm covering obviously because it shows my library location and i don't want my personal information out on the internet you know what i'm talking about so the first one is ladybugs the second book is farm by happy baby eyes wait ears eyes and nose Sophie's Halloween disguise. Girl, you know, we don't celebrate no Halloween, but she would not let this one go. So I said, you know what? That's fine. You still a little baby. As long as you know we don't do that Halloween, baby. Jump more. Oh, McDonald's had a farm. And good night, Cordori. So I got some nice little books for her. Okay, so it is my turn again, girl, but yesterday was a mess. So I'm doing chicken breasts. I got two large chicken breasts. So I cut them in half and I kind of pressed it. So now I'm going to mix all this um, and I'm going to let it marinate because we're going to bread these and then fry them on some light like avocado oil later. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of buttermilk to um, marinate this. And we're going to do penne pasta with a nice salad on the side and then Texas toast um, bread. That's going to go in the oven and be really, really good. For dessert, I'll be using some chocolate chip cookies. So this is everything that I'm going to be using to make the chicken parmesan. I got some whole grain penne pasta. I got some Italian seasoning because I was out. Two of these parmesan cheese um chocolate chips and then this here um it is so cheap it was like two bucks so I'm, i was like i'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies and then we have some this kind of parmesan this is what i used to season the chicken and then we have some feta cucumber and some cranberry and glazed walnuts for the salad i am soaking the salad drain it and i want to add some of this iceberg lettuce as well one thing that i'm gonna do right now is i'm going to pickle some red onions for the actual salad as well so i'm waiting for my mother-in-law to give me a container but the recipe calls for vinegar water sugar and pepper and then it's super cute it's for hot stuff 
so it doesn't burn the table. But yeah. So I am going to sugar, water, vinegar. I'm heating this up to medium heat and then I'll add it into this with the onions. Well, I'm coming with you. So. Yeah, I hope that one day as well. So I'm gonna start cooking already, even though it's four. I just don't feel like dealing with anything and just kind of having a, a mess free environment. <laughs> So I'm d doing this, dipping it in breadcrumbs, and then I'm about to saute it on some, in some avocado oil. I got my pasta water over here. And, and it obviously looks like this cause I use chicken broth. So yeah, so I'm about to add the pasta in here and start making my chicken Parmesan. It's looking right. It's looking right. It's looking right. Let's see, I'm doing something. You know I'm hungry right now, sister. I just do my peanut pasta. Girl, it's whole grain, okay? We The next one that's gonna go in. Okay. Le kitty. Was it gonna fit? So there's butter, garlic, heavy whipping cream, some of the chicken pasta water, which obviously has starch. And then now I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. I added paprika, some seasonings, like Cajun seasoning, and then also some, what else? Some Italian seasoning. Yeah, Italian seasoning, Cajun and paprika. I'm gonna add the pasta in here. So we have enough chicken parm for everyone. Peony pasta. What oh, up, sisters? So I've been doing so much in the kitchen. That's oh, why I haven't picked so up my phone, but what's up, sisters? It is time for prayer for I'm me because really I'm a little bit late. Really so it is time to relax. We got literally like 40 more minutes, inshallah, and then it'll be time to break our fast. But I did want to mention, I haven't been showing like me doing every prayer possible because I'm busy. I'm a mom and I, I don't have the time that I used to. Is what I made. Yeah. Salad. Oh my God, some pizza. Yeah. Yeah. My mother-in-law made some soup. Relax. 